And we are live. Go ahead and take it away, Caleb. Hello and welcome, Team Elite, to yet another fantastic week here with Life Vantage. I'm excited to come to you today. My name is Caleb Wesley, and we have a very important and life-changing message for you to hear today. Over the weekend, we had the opportunity to learn from Dave and Joanne Madison, who are two incredible and visionary leaders who began at the very start of Life Vantage when it was nothing but an idea. And today, David Lamoro and myself are going to share some of the golden nuggets that we received from them over this weekend. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with David, he is a power-packed speaker and an incredible leader. And he's a kind of leader who takes the front of the battle. He doesn't command from the rear. He's out doing the activities that we ask you to do. He fulfills the role that's expected of every elite in this incredible opportunity. So I'm excited and honored to bring on Dave Lamoro. Take it away, sir. What's up, guys? Thank you so much, Caleb. I really appreciate you, man. Guys, I, uh, I'm excited about leading you in this call uh, today. I have that honor, and I am very excited about where we just were at. We were just at the Life Vantage Academy in Austin, and it was awesome, you guys. Uh, obviously, there are Life Vantage Academies happening all over the, the, the nation, and ours here in Austin was power packed and it was really, really meaningful. And so I took a lot of good notes uh, to bring to you guys so that, so that y'all could get the same message. Now, obviously don't treat this as a replacement for attending the Life Energy Academy yourself. If you ask yourself this, if you want time freedom or do you want time freedom? Do you want to build a business that you can be proud of? If you want that, then treat these meetings, treat these, um, these Life Energy events as a priority, okay? That's the number two uh, principle and behavior uh, in the system, okay? So again, treat these like priority, get to yours next month. Go ahead and register for it at lifevantageacademy.com. Look for the nearest one closest to you. And if you're in Texas, it's gonna be in Austin. So that is jam-packed, power-packed for your success. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen. And I wanna share with you my notes because we're gonna be talking about some of the most important things that you have to figure out and be very in tune with uh, in order for your business to be successful, okay? So I want you to figure out your why, okay? Let's talk about define your why. Ask yourself, why are you building your life vantage business, okay? Why are you doing this? This is what it comes down to. Um, why are you going to get up and do some of the things that uh, that may be a little bit uncomfortable for you at first. Why are you going to be doing those things? Okay. What do you want out of this business? Right? So what do you want? Ask yourself these things. What do you want to achieve with your business? Okay. And if you haven't done this yet, I really encourage you to do it because the closer that you are in tune with this, the, the, the faster that you're going to get to success in your business and in life in general. Okay. If you don't have a goal and if you don't have a why, it's almost like if you were the captain of a ship, but you didn't know where you were going. Okay. You just set sail and you just started, you know, going anywhere. You could land anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's, it's also like if you turned out the lights and you had a dartboard at the end of the room and you threw darts at it, <laughs> it's just taking a shot in the dark. So the clearer that you can get, that you can get in your why, the, the more effective that you're going to be, okay? So again, we're, we are more effective whenever we know our why, and it's always something you're, that you're passionate about, something that hits home with you. And whenever you figure this out, okay, I want you to ask yourself also, what are you doing or what are you willing to do in order to achieve your why? So let's talk about, again, in the, in the, in the beginning, your why can change, all right? It, obviously, most of it, most of our whys in the beginning was about money, right? Over time, that can change, okay? So let's ask ourselves also, what is it? Most, most people define our, their whys in these categories. They want more time. They want more freedom. 
They want more residual income. They want a plan B. They want to leave a legacy. They want more friends. They want better health. Um, they want to be closer with their family. They want more time with their family. Or maybe they just want to grow themselves as leaders uh, and, and personally. Okay. Take a screenshot of any of these, um, you know, uh, any of these notes, any of these screens that resonate with you so that you can go back and you can read it later and, uh, and get in better touch with it. So do you guys resonate with any of these? How many of you out there want more time freedom? How many of you out there want a plan B? How many of you want to leave a legacy? How many of you want more time with your family and better health? <laughs> I think all of us do. All right. So here's a couple of reasons why. Um, we want those wives. A couple of scary financial facts for your consideration. About 95% of people at the age of 65 will not be able to fully retire. All right. That's kind of a scary fact. So like 95% of, of people out there that you know of are not even able to retire. So do you want that to be you? I know I don't. <laughs> I want a fast track to retirement. I want a, a the fastest path to that, the fastest path to uh, more time freedom to be able to do the things that I want in life. Okay. Here's another scary fact. 57% of Americans have less than a thousand dollars in savings. Okay. Even 39% of 8,000 people that were surveyed had literally zero dollars in savings. Okay. And you can kind of see, see these, um, these other numbers here. Only 25% of people had $10,000, uh, and up saved. And 6% had be somewhere between $5,000 and $10,000 in savings. Okay. Now the average monthly social security check is about $1,200. Okay. That is, that's the, that's the residual income of, of a pro four. Okay. And we can get to pro four in less than, less than a year if you want. All right. It's completely possible, completely doable. A lot of people do it actually. Some people do it within their first 30 days. Some people do it within their first 60 or 90 days. Now that's kind of an, ex an exceptionary type of thing, but would you rather, would you rather create that, you know, $1,200 in residual monthly earnings in, uh, you know, in, in less than two years, or would you rather work, you know, for 40 years of your life to get that, you know, $1,200, $1,500 every month? <laughs> that's risky to me. That's much more risky than building a business, okay, with a proven system. So again, get in touch with your why, okay? Ask yourself, why are you building this business? And here are a couple of things that, um, that, that may change your why as your business grows. So your business will grow as your why, sorry, let me, let me rephrase this. Our why changes as our business grows, and our business grows as our belief grows, okay? And there are a couple of things that grow your belief. Um, the meetings, okay, the meetings are a huge part of this. That's one of the reasons why I attend all monthly training events, like they're non-negotiable, is a part of the, uh, the proven system and the principles and behaviors, okay? That's, that's, re that's a big reason why, all right? Here are a couple of reasons why your, what your why might be, to pay off credit cards or student loans or debts or buy a new house or car, or raise your kids from home, um, maybe have more time with your family and friends, retire your spouse from home, um, create leverage residual income, care for an elderly loved one, travel. How many of you guys out there would love to travel? I know I would. That's a big, a big deal for me. Uh, maybe give back of your time and not just of your time, but also your finances to, to causes, okay, to, to charities and donations around the world. I, would, I know I really want to make that a big part of my, uh, of, of my legacy of what I do. Okay. And then obviously the last one there, you see, leave a legacy. So I wanted to share with you the la this last part here. Um, if you sow a thought, which is your why, okay, the clearer that you can define that, that is literally sowing a why in your mind. Okay. Then you will reap an action. Okay. You're going to take, take those actions. You can put a business plan into place to achieve that why. And so whenever you sow those actions, which is your what, okay, that's, that's how you get what you get, okay, then you, then you reap a habit, and as you sow a habit, which is just daily, daily doing the what, daily doing the actions, that's developing a habit, and as you sow that habit, you reap character, which is so worth it, okay, and as you sow that character, you reap your destiny, okay, and that's, 
what I want everybody to take away from here is it's not just about you making more money, although that is a big part of it, but you have a chance here with, we all have a chance here with this company to leave a lasting impact on this planet and to leave a lasting legacy in, in our lives and in other people's lives as well. Okay. So I just really encourage you guys, it starts with your why. And as you find your why, figure out your why, then figure out what are you willing to do to get it, to achieve your why, right? What are you not willing to do to achieve your why? It's important to, to, to establish your negotiables and your non-negotiables. So what are some of the things that you're willing to um, set aside for a season in order to achieve your goals? Okay. There are some things that I could put aside. I know, I know for a fact, some things that are a little bit of a distraction for me that I could put aside or just get more clear or focused on in order for me to achieve my goals and my why. Okay. And then that helps you to create an action plan uh, and to know what your next steps will be. So that's whenever you write it down, you use your calendar, you be specific and begin immediately. Okay. Today's Monday. Use Monday as a great starting line for the week. Okay. This is how you do it. This is why we have the team elite weekly calls on Mondays. So begin immediately, do what it takes to consistently, um, do what it takes consistently until you achieve your why. Okay. And, uh, and you will so thank yourself down the road. Okay. So I just really encourage you guys take screenshots of this, look over, watch over this recording, take screenshots as you go. It's basically take, you know, taking notes, review this stuff, but begin immediately begin after this call start figuring out what your why is and then start figuring out what you got to do in order to get that. Okay. And of course, reach out to your support team like myself, like Caleb, like Matthew, if you need any help at all, figuring out any of that. So with that, you guys, I'm going to pass it back to our, our leader, Caleb Wesley. Let me see. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and Caleb, go ahead and take it away, big guy. Thanks, Lance. Can y'all hear me? No. If you can get a little closer to the screen, I think that would help. Are we good? Get a little bit closer to the screen. I think uh, the microphone just needs to pick you up a little bit better. Thanks, buddy. Perfect. Yeah, much better. Wonderful. Well, David, thank you, my friend. Thank you for bringing value to us all. Such an important idea of why we do what we do. Beginning with yourself is the foundation of what happens on the exterior. Because if we don't have our identity, if we don't have our core, if we don't understand what's going on between these ears, it's very difficult to have predictable results on the exterior, whether that's with your family, your friends, your business, your life vantage business, it doesn't matter. What happens here ripples out into the rest of life and to kind of continue and broaden the thought that David brought forward with your belief. I want to bring forward the idea of the belief in yourself. Do you have a convicted concept that you deserve, that you expect out of life something exceptional? Do you think that you're fulfilling your potential at your nine-to-five job? And if you do, then maybe this isn't a place for you, or maybe you need a soul search a little bit. And I think I will be right with my assumption that you don't believe you're fulfilling your full potential. Because I'm not even sure if that's something that we can ever achieve in one lifetime. Because you have so much innate potential that it's absolutely mind-blowing. And at each stage of life, let me ask you this. Do you think you're smarter today than you were 10 years ago? Probably. And 10 years ago, did you see yourself having the wisdom and the experience today that you didn't 10 years ago? You're probably not. Because this thing that we call life compounds day after day with experience, with a life, with opportunity. It's absolutely incredible. So I would challenge you, when you go home tonight, and when you're laying in bed, turn off the TV, put down the book, and spend some time working in here. And think through what it is that you desire your life to be. Can you see yourself making $100,000 a month? 
can you see yourself making $5,000 a month to buy it? Not having to go to a job. Can you see yourself putting your kids through school? Can you see yourself not paying for daycare because, hey, now you're home making an income that can support your family? Because let me, um, let me be very honest with you for a bit. What you make at your job is very simply replaced with what you can make here by Vantage. But what happens is this business is treated like a hobby. And I, again, believe that starts from the core belief of whether or not you deserve, whether or not you believe that you expect to have that type of results in your business. And if you don't or you do, frankly, you're going to be correct. And if you can't see yourself working from home and receiving more income than you do, grinding it out and hating every day, going to your job, working 50, 60, 70 hours a week. If you say, Caleb, I just, I don't believe that I can make that type of income without grinding it 80 hours a week. If you feel like you're in that position, I would really encourage you to reach out to myself, to David and Matthew, and allow us to get you in contact with the story of so many individuals who are able to do that. Going back to this weekend, Dave Madison, 25 years, a quarter of a century, working in the corporate HVAC industry. A quarter of a century, think about that for a moment. And after all of that time, what has he greeted with? The crash of 08. And how did our construction crews do over that period of time? Not too well, right? So after a quarter of a century, this man was wise enough and humble enough to say, there is more that I can offer to this world than my expertise in engineering. And he saw the vision of life vantage, and he never looked back. So if you tell me that you're too old, too young, too dedicated, lack experience, whatever that excuse might be, it's just that, it's an excuse. Because if a man in his late 40s who had done nothing but HVAC and engineering can move over into social entrepreneurship and create a multi six-figure income in a very short amount of time, two years it took him, two years to replace his HVAC AC income that took him 25 years to accomplish. That right there is not fact. You can call it. That's an experience that occurred. That's not even a, a number on a piece of paper. That's not something that you can tell me is skewed or the math was done wrong or is a positive projection. It's simply a story of what happened to change a man's life. I love you all. I know that you can achieve this if you have the reason why, if you believe that you can, and more importantly, that you believe you deserve it. I love you all. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Team Elite Weekly Call. I look forward to seeing all of your progress over these next seven days. Until we meet again, as always, next Monday at noon. Until then, if you guys have any questions, concerns, issues, frustrations, please don't hold it to yourself. God brought us into a community for a reason. And I encourage you, reach out, reach up, and find a way to achieve your dreams. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Kate.